airplane mode. That's what I'm in today. All right, my name is Richard. I'm a flight attendant, lifestyle, travel vlogger. If you're not already subscribed, become a legacy and subscribe today. I have not said that in a long time and I'm sorry. It's been a very busy month. So currently I am driving in Philadelphia. So starting today, I am a Philadelphia based flight attendant. Um, so I just transferred from <laughs> I just transferred from New York. Um, New York was great, but it's very expensive and it just wasn't where I saw myself long term. So um, I'm not currently living in Philly full time. I have my car here, but I'm um, basically renting a room from my dad's friend. If you guys don't know, my dad works for my airline. He's been working for my airline for about 30 years. And um, yeah, he's a mechanic. He's an airplane mechanic. So he does like engine replacements and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Um, so he was based here for a while. He used to commute from here to Pittsburgh. Um, which is what basically I'll be doing for the time being. But I plan on moving to Philly or maybe even like a town by the beach um, near Philly in the near future. Um, they're about, whoo, see this always happens. They're about 45 minutes from the beach here. So maybe I should wait until I stop. Okay, that looks better. Um, yeah, so base in Philly. Um, it's my first day of reserve. I already got a trip. I am going to Shannon, Ireland. I'm super excited. I've never been to Ireland. Um, I just messaged, um, Lizzie. I was like, I'm going to Shannon. She's like, you're going to have so much fun. Um, so I can't wait. I'm super excited. I want to go to maybe like a castle or something. I'm not sure yet. But it's going to be fun. By the way, that's another thing is on the East Coast, they do not like Starbucks apparently. Dunkin' is all, they're all about the Dunkin' Donuts. But yeah, so my Shannon Ireland flight does not leave until like 9 p.m. It's currently like 4.30. So I have plenty of time to get ready. And I'm right by the airport. So it's only going to take me about 15 minutes, if that, to get to... Philadelphia International Airport so it'll be good super 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 excited it's one of my mom's like dream destinations too and I would bring her but she hasn't gotten her passport yet oh by the way okay so the reason why I'm not vlogging so much is number one it's been a super busy month trying to move basically between three cities um and then like a lot of the U.S. places I've been flying um I've already done, you know, so I've already been there, done that. Um, you've probably seen it in one of my vlogs, you know. I'm going on almost six years as a flight attendant. Um, four months with this airline, but um, yeah, almost six years. So I've kind of been there, done that with a lot of the U.S. cities. Probably most of them, to be honest. Um, and then, like, shorter Caribbean hops and... Um, like North South America that's kind of like been there done that you know so I try to give you guys like the new stuff kind of like the new content so yeah that's why I need to figure out where I'm going it's probably not a great idea I need to have like a separate device for a GPS um oh okay I forget what I was gonna say I don't know but you guys have any vlog suggestions or want to see something just let me know I'm open to it um, yeah Ireland's super close to Philly not super close but it's only gonna be about five and a half hours of flying time which is crazy that's like here to LA um, so yeah be a good flight um, I'm the purser by the way um, basically I was assigned to the purser position at a future um, I'm trying to see if the crew wants to switch me because the purser is like a special qualification kind of. Um, you can work it if you're not qualified. Basically, like if you're a reserve flight attendant or if they just need somebody. 
for operational needs, you can work it. But um, usually it's a special qualification that you have to have. Um, or they try to make you have to work it. But it's not like... It's just you're trained on more international procedures, basically. So you know exactly what to do for every destination, basically, that your base you'll be flying as a purser. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I've been rambling on now for how long? <laughs> All right. Picking up a Subway sandwich at Subway. Oh, and P.S. So I got a tuna sandwich from Subway because I've kind of been like pescatarian lately. I don't know why, but I have not been able to like stomach like meat, especially like lunch meat, which I'm usually a really big like sandwich person. But um, I don't know. It just it does not hit my appetite. It, I don't know. It's just not my thing. So um. Yeah, I'm doing like the whole just fish. Should. Okay, just got my subway. Super excited. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, my friend Natalie from training, she is gonna be the aisle person. So since I'm purser, I'll be business class. She's the business class aisle. So it's basically just us up there. Um, that's another reason why I'm not kind of pushing to get out of the purser position is it's a narrow body. It's a 757. So I've worked the 757 before, like domestically. And so it's basically set up like a domestic airplane. And, you know, I work the number one position pretty frequently, like on reserve. Um, so I think it's a great way to get like acclimated to the whole position. Because obviously this is not going to be my first time and it's not going to be my last. So, um... Yeah, I think it's a great way to get started, especially when someone I know is working up there because, yeah, it'll be nice. All right, I'm going to navigate back, but I will see you guys at some point between getting back to my room and Shannon, Ireland. I don't really know when it's going to be, but we will figure it out together. <laughs> Goodbye for a couple of seconds. Look at this view. Uh, that was a great flight. Super excited. I am in Ireland. I have like an amazing view from my hotel room. I'm super excited. I actually think this might be my favorite layover to date. This might be like one of my favorite cities to date. I think it might even surpass Paris. I'm not sure yet. All I know is I need to take a nap and get my life together and then go out. Me and a couple of the other crew members are gonna go um, shopping, sightseeing, pretty much everything. I spent a lot at Primark last time I went to London. Didn't vlog, unfortunately. Just did a little me day, but that was, I don't know, three, three weeks ago or two weeks ago, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, super excited to be here. Super, super, super. And there's a castle. Okay, I just realized I filmed this entire thing. My tie is all. <laughs> I did this on the bus because I like some breathing room. <laughs> but yeah, just thought I needed to um explain myself. <laughs> Love this room. At Penny's, which is actually Primark, but it's branded as Penny's apparently here. We'll see. I just did a big shopping spree at Primark in London and I moved and I have no clue 
where any of it is. So maybe do another one. Maybe try to figure out where it is. All right, got a sweatshirt and an Ireland t-shirt. Not very much. Pennies is definitely more expensive than Primark. But I've been warned that um, Ireland is really expensive. So, yeah. Actually, Lizzie told me that, even though she lives in Scotland. All right. Sitting here, I'm just waiting for the other crew. We decided to meet at 12, 110 because their cell phones don't work here. I actually have a data plan that works, but they're still. There's Tesco. Tesco. Oh my God, it's huge. Thank you. 